Today we discover the best cities to visit in Eastern Europe, which is probably my favorite part of Europe. Eastern Europe offers the most for each euro, or lev, or lei, or dinar, or whatever currency each country uses. Eastern Europe also does not have the tourism of our exploration, we see in places like the French Riviera or Barcelona. And because it does not have high, there is much to discover there for affordable prices. But first, I must make an important disclaimer, since I don't want Poles, Czechs and Slovaks nervous. I know your countries are technically not part of Eastern Europe, but I included them anyway, so understand this has the best cities in Eastern and Central Europe, okay? Don't be angry guys, I love pierogi and pilsen. So with no further ado, time to jump to the 10 best cities in Eastern Europe and Central Europe to visit. 10th place, Prague, Czech Republic. I bet most of you thought the Czech capital would have a much higher place in this ranking due to its fairy tale old town, the well-conserved Prey Castle and the spectacularly beautiful Charles Bridge, right? While it's unnecessary to explain why Prague is in the top 10, I think I must explain why it's not in a higher position. And the thing is, for me, Prague was a disappointment for many reasons. From the scammers and excessive number of tourist traps to some attractions trying to rip you off all the time. I even made a video about scams in Europe and obviously Prague was mentioned. Tip, avoid money exchange houses anywhere close to the old town and the astronomical clock. 9th place, Ljubljana, Slovenia. The Slovenian capital is a lovely city surrounded by mountains and a hill where you can find a cool medieval military fortress at the top. The main attraction of Ljubljana, however, is the city itself. There are some waterways cut in the place that give some Venice feelings, but without the crowds of tourists. The Baroque architecture adds to this Italian feeling, which is curious, considering that Slovenia is actually a Slavic nation. They also have nice food and surprisingly nice people. Honestly, the worst part of Ljubljana is the name of the city itself, hard to pronounce and even harder to write. 8th place, Warsaw, Poland. The Polish capital was almost completely destroyed during the Second World War. So one could ask, why I still put it here in this ranking? The reason is that I'm a history buff and Warsaw has more history than you can imagine. One of the best museums I've visited my entire life is the Warsaw Uprising Museum. It's an emotional experience that everyone should have at least one time during their lives. Their historical town, despite being a reconstruction of the once completely destroyed old district, is lovely. And differently than Prague, there are not many street sellers bothering you everywhere. Museums like the previously mentioned Warsaw Uprising Museum, the Museo Narodowe, the Royal Castle, the Kati Museum, the Villa Louf Palace, and many others would easily be enough to put Warsaw on this list. They even have a vodka museum. Seventh place, Yerevan, Armenia. If we talk about inexpensive places to visit, then Yerevan is a champion. It was one of my most economical holidays ever, and I could enjoy nice restaurants and the typical Armenian brandies, spending almost nothing. One of the highest points of my visit was the tour of the brandy distilleries. Their most famous brandy, Arara, was a favorite of Churchill, who, legend says, requested from Stalin a considerable amount of bottles as a gift. They also have some interesting museums and very old churches. Armenia was one of the two first countries to adopt Christianity, the other was Ethiopia. So for those who enjoy historical temples, like me, the surrounding regions around Yerevan have plenty of nice places to visit. Sixth place, Split, Croatia. Split is the more laid-back, less crowded version of Dubrovnik, both at the Adriatic Sea coastline. They are very similar in many aspects, but Split is way less expensive. There are many buildings from the times of the Roman Empire, and the most impressive one is the palace built by the Emperor Diocletian. Split is also larger than Dubrovnik, so it has more options for restaurants, historical monuments and attractions. I have never been to Zagreb, the Croatian capital, but I hear that it's also one of the best places to visit in the Balkans. 50. Bansko, Bulgaria I love skiing, so I scheduled a trip to Bansko some time ago, where we can find some of the best slopes in the entire Eastern Europe. They even host international snowboarding and skiing competitions. However, I'm not very lucky with the climate, and at that time, in the middle of December, there was no snow at all. What happened later was a shock. I discovered that Bansko has so much more to offer than skiing. They have some cool thermal pools in villages around the city, 
and these thermal pools are quite sophisticated, more like spas. There are even places around where you can see bears, but they sleep during the entire winter. Fourth place, Belgrade, Serbia. In Belgrade, I did one of the coolest walking tours of my life. We crossed parts of the city that were destroyed by the Ottomans, then parts that were destroyed by Nazis, then parts destroyed by civil wars, and we ended in parts destroyed by the bombings of 1999. Today the city mixes historical and modern sections, all that is surrounded by the splendid Danube River, which by itself is one of the attractions of Belgrade. During the summer and spring months, the river is full of boats that serve as restaurants, bars and clubs. We also talked recently about the incredible story of how Belgrade defeated organized crime. Check it out among the videos on our channel. Third place, Budapest, Hungary. Budapest has one of the most alluring Christmas markets that I ever saw. That's why, in our video of the best countries to visit each month of the year, we put Hungary in December. By the way, if you haven't watched this video yet, watch it, just check our channel and you'll find it there. The city decoration, the Christmas lights, the street shops, the Kurtos Kalaps, a Hungarian sweet bread rolled in cinnamon with a sweet taste I cannot express in words. Everything contributes to a memorable experience. They also have this most amazing parliament building, where I spent more than two hours just walking across its corridors and admiring all that grandiose. Second place, Krakow, Poland. Formerly the capital of the normal Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, one of the largest states in European history, Krakow will amaze you with a myriad of attractions. From the historical Wawel Royal Castle, please someone, if I'm not saying it correctly, uh, just tell me in the comment section. So let's say Vavo Royal Castle to lovely gardens, most of Krakow's attractions are within walking distance from the town square and the central market. You'll find the former city walls, gothic churches and multiple UNESCO World Heritage Sites. From Krakow, made a day trip to the Podhale region with multiple budget ski resorts, the Tatra Mountains National Park and the utterly delicious Gurowski cuisine. Before we go to uh, the first place, I would like to ask a small favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And the first place is Brasov in Romania. Brasov tops my list for a few reasons. If you are a history lover, go for a pedestrian walking, a free pedestrian tour. They start at the main square almost every day. Local experts will guide you across the rich history of the city built by three different cultures. Saxons, Hungarians, and Romanians. Brasov's picturist old town is very well preserved and it's a pleasure to just stroll over its cobblestone streets or sit in a cafe. While Bucharest, the Romanian capital, may be one of the least beautiful European capitals, check our ranking about the most aesthetic cities in Europe is one of our videos, Brasov is one of the most enchanting old towns that I have ever seen. If you enjoy walking around forests, this is one of the finest cities in Romania. Transylvania woodlands surround Brasov and you can spend entire days on the trails departing from the city. I recommend the one to the Tanta mountain top. From there, it is possible to see the whole old town in its full splendor. So I truly recommend you to reserve some time to visit Brasov or Krakow and its surroundings. It will not make a hole in your budget and you'll have a great time. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode, remember to subscribe to our channel for the next ones.